a 103.5 FM. It's Friday, the 30th day of August, and it is the last Friday in August. And of course, uh, we are here to charge up your morning. And it, it is Friday. You know how we do Fridays. Fridays are for Thanksgiving, and Fridays are for glory to our Father. So I'm here with Nana Majiman. And Nana, good morning. The weekend is here. <laughs> good morning, finally. Mm. Weekend is here. Yeah. Yeah. We thank God for life. Mm. Yeah. Right. So this morning we have news, of course, from the Black Stars yesterday. We told you that the Black Stars of Ghana, uh, they are going to be in action next week on Thursday. And yesterday, Otuado came out with the squad. We'll bring you that. And then we'll also bring you interesting one. Yesterday, Nanama's new favorite player, <laughs> uh, Igwe Tupac. Yes. The new hey, player. That is not his name. <laughs> yes. Fernando Wisdom Bassi. Bassi. But 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 he you 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 actually said his name is uh Igwe to Park. I so, beg. so <laughs> we we would also be get, he has been saying some things. Charlie, the player no. <laughs> hey. So meanwhile we, we, we had Vinicius and Mbappe in Ghana and then we, we didn't know. So we we'll get to listen to him. Yes, oh he God. said some things. He wants us to know that Charlie. His style of play, no, it be Vinicius and Mbappe. We'll get to listen to him and then we'll get to listen to Cristiano Ronaldo. Yesterday, the UEFA Champions League draw happened. Yes, and I brought you the format, the breakdown of how the new um, uh, draw would be. And it's actually happened. So, a new format, no group stage, a league standard, but then eight teams for one opponent, four away and then four home. Not home and away, but just four for you uh, at home and then four away. And then the first eight would qualify for the round of 16. The 9th to 24th will play in a knockout round and meet the next, uh, first eight. So, we'll bring you uh, the Champions League draw as well and then uh, get to some Premier League news. We will hear from Salah and also hear uh, from um, the coach of Brighton and then do some quick transfer news or bring you results from um, yesterday's conference league and then also we'll bring you some fixtures in the english premier league all right now so let's just start off from uh coach Otuado. yesterday uh, he announced his squad and this is how it happened again we have joseph Wolokot from crawley town we have frederick asari from asante kotoko um going to the defenders uh, we have alidu seidu from Stadran. we have Tariq lamte from brighton and home Elian. We have Alexander Jiku from Fenerbahce Istanbul. We have uh, Abdul Mumin from Rayo Vallecano. We have Mohamed Salisu from AS Monaco. We have Jerome Opoku from um, Bas Basakci here, Istanbul. We have Ibeniza Anand from Ofkai, Belgrad. And then we have Kingsley Schindler from Samsung Sport. In the midfield, <coughs> we have um, Mohamed Kudus from West Ham United. We have Abu Francis from Saint Le Bruges. Um, we have Thomas Parker from Arsenal FC. We have Elijah Wissou from AG Auxerre. We have Majid Ashimeru from RC Anderlecht. And uh, last but not least, uh, the forwards. Uh, we have Abdul Fatou Ishwaku from Leicester City. We have uh, Joseph Pensil from, L from LA Galaxy. We have uh, Ibrahim Osman from Feyenoord Rotterdam. We have Antoine Semenyo from uh, AFC Bournemouth. We have Inyaki Williams from Athletic Bilbao. Uh, we have Jordan Ayew, uh, has now changed to Leicester City. Uh, and Brendan Thomas Asante from Coventry City. Right, so um, there you have uh, the 23 1 squad that would do battle for Ghana against Angola and Niger. So Angola would be next week, Thursday, uh, at the Babayara Sports Stadium, 4 p.m. And then on Monday, Ghana would go to Morocco. We are playing Niger, but we'll go to Morocco to play because Niger, uh, they don't have a good yeah. pitch. So, mm. any surprises in there? Ah, no, 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 no. Everything yeah, that I said expected, came to pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, did you two notice? I've told you whatever yeah. that I say. Take ah. it seriously, you know? Everything that I said came to pass. But this is the team's programs yeah. um, outline. Right. Tomorrow, I arrive out. The players will be coming from their various clubs. Yeah. And also on Monday, they'll be training in Accra. Um, it is open to the public and the yeah. media yeah. from 5 p.m. On Tuesday, the, the team the will fly. Stadium yeah, the Accra Sports Stadium. Stadium. Okay. Uh, what are you thinking? The Ligon Sports Stadium? Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, wow. Is it, they said Accra. So it, it's not it's not um, stated in here, but they said Accra. Accra, so okay, it can okay, be okay. Lagon oh, or Accra, Accra Sports Stadium. Stadium. Right. So, but right. don't be surprised if it's Lagos because yeah. Ghana, the way they are, we are misusing the Lagos Stadium. Yeah. And then on Tuesday, the team will fly to Kumasi and then they will train at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium at 4.30 p.m. And it's also open to the public mm. and the media. On Wednesday, they will have their final training at the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. I think it, they'll, they'll do that behind closed doors. Yeah. yeah, because we don't want them to know our tactics. Yeah. And then on Thursday, it's the match. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so of course, on Thursday, we'll be bringing you um, live commentary from the Baba Yara Sports Stadium. So, we got you covered for all the games, the coverage, uh, the happenings, the trainings, and all that. Interviews and all, pretty much know that you just have to stick and stay with star 103.5 fm so uh okay before we get to the champions league um let's get to listen to yesterday we told you that <laughs> kotoko they are the new chelsea they are signing all the players all available players hey are kotoko and hearts of folk please yes. it's not just kotoko it's Wait, kotoko and right now kotoko, okay so hearts of folk are signing uh, uh, uh local players division but, one players but but as for kotoko kotoko they've gone international Right, they've got outside the shores of Ghana oh, and signing everywhere. So the player say that, see, my style of play. Hmm. As no come. Andrea Yusef no come. So let's get to listen to Fernando Wisdom Bassi, the new 22 year old, <laughs> the 22 year old uh, new attacker for Kotoko. Yeah, for now I'm said finishes on Mbappe. That's my kind of style of play. So, that's it. How was the communication like talking to the hierarchy of the club, the coach? What convinced you the most? Is it about an explanation in terms of the, the deep discussion regarding the project he wants to do or the weather? The same? What, what convinced you the most? Aside the history of the club and yeah, the, outside the, outside the history of the club. I, mean, I like making my decision to know the coach wants you to be here. And the project also he explained everything to me. So it was easy for me because as long as you are working with a coach that yeah for now I may said Vinicius and Mbappe. That's my kind of style of Vinicius and Mbappe, that's a kind of style that we are going to be seeing from Charlie, 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 Charlie. Heat. First of all, yeah. why do I have a feeling that Fernando no? He adopted the name. No, His no, name no, is no. William Wisdom Bassi. No, Fernando, I understand See, that. Hmm. He's a 22 year old. Okay, the 22 year old. Oga, 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 Oga. You didn't do your research before joining Kumasiya Santa Kotoko. If you did, you would not be saying this. The fans, <laughs> the fans will frustrate you if you don't play like Kellen in back. The fans will will make Kumase like uncomfortable for you if you don't play like Kylian Mbappe, as you said in the interview. I mean, it's early days. Yes, I know when players sign for new teams, they yeah, say things. Yeah. Hey, but wait, dear. you no, didn't even mention. No, uh, no, wait, no, wait, so, wait. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even say Victor or Simon or something. Okay. Kylian Mbappe. That's the style. Hey, you say, uh, wait, oh, wait. Yo, the player is saying that. See, the player I, is saying I, I, that. I, I just can't wait. Yeah. You know, especially when his stat is not looking oh. too good and then you he's, say this he's a young chap 22 oh, years old 22 kumasi fans that he's oh that. i trust my kumasi people wait he's okay. saying that it is his style who, he's not so he says his style is like he says his style is like what vinicius and mbappe that killing that killing yo you, so so got the should be excited okay thankfully the season starts next week right yeah and the killing no don't worry ah chale chale a girl man will say be in ta i'm waiting <laughs> time will tell okay i'll go see her oh god they'll show them they play <laughs> right so now let's move to the champions league um uh, it was new it was different it was a i mean bit I, I don't know if you, you've, yeah. you've, you've seen the promo yeah. the, the advert yeah, 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 yeah. it's it so was, it was nice, nice. I, I i saw yeah. um luis figo yeah. buffon yeah. oh and Zlatan, then Ibrahimovic. Zlatan, he played yeah. it so he yeah. rose so well and yeah. it, it, it explains Zlatan is everything actor, yeah. oh god yeah. and it fits his character yeah. it, they, they chose the right yeah, person the right for person. that ad yeah. i yeah. I, yeah. I love it i watch it like three times yeah it, 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 it explains it everything nice. yeah, yeah. it's nice it is dear charlie 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 what are you saying brony dear let's move on i won't say anything right so the champions league draw 
Manchester City um, are going to face hmm, the likes of Inter Milan, PSG, Club Root, Juventus, Feyenoord, Sporting, CP, Spartak Prague, and then Slovan, Bratislava. Now, Liverpool would have opponents. The first game for Liverpool is going to be at home to Real Madrid. And they would face Leipzig away, Leverkusen, Milan, uh, Leo, PSV. So, it goes on and on and on and on and on. As now face the likes of PSG, Inter Milan, and then Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, they will also face Monaco. Aston Villa would also face the likes of Bayern Munich, um, Juventus, Monaco, Celtic. Bayern Munich themselves are going to face PSG and Barca. But this time around, it will be at the Camp Nou. It is not going. Don't forget, this Champions League, there's no home and away yet. Mm -hmm. It is just home or away. So Bayern will be traveling to the Camp Nou uh, this time around. And then Bayern also face Aston Villa. Uh, yes, so Bayern will be coming to England. They would be at Via Park. Real Madrid champions. Uh, they have Borussia Dortmund, Liverpool, AC Milan, Atalanta, Salzburg, Leo, Stuttgart, and then Brest. So I'm just because of time. I'm just flipping. When the games coming proper, they will break them down for you. And uh, when the Champions League starts, so Barcelona. Uh, they have Bayern Munich, Borussia Dortmund, Atalanta, Benfica, Young Boys, Rest Up, Belgrade, Brest, and then Monaco. So if you want to PSG, PSG, their first game is going to be at home to Man City, Bayern Munich later, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal, PSG. I think PSG has um, most difficult games. Yes, Man City, Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid, Arsenal, PSG, Salzburg, Girona, and Stuttgart. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo, all-time leading goal scorer in the UEFA Champions League, has been honored with a special award from UEFA in recognition of his remarkable legacy in the world's most prestigious competition. The former sporting um, CP... And Manchester United, Real Madrid and Juventus forward has scored 140 Champions League goals in 183 appearances. He is 11 goals clear of Lionel Messi and 46 ahead of third place uh, Robert Lewandowski at the top of the scoring chart. Now speaking at the ceremony, Ronaldo says it is a pleasure to receive such an amazing award. To be here, thank you for this amazing award. It means a lot to me. Uh, as you know, Champions League, it's, it's well, uh, I had opportunity, not only, you know, the record speak for itself, but I, I don't mean that. I mean the pleasure to play in that competition. As Buffon say, it's our motivation when you listen to the music, it's, you're turning on, you know, it's, it's crazy. And for me, it's, it was special because I win so many times and the goal scored, uh, I... You know, everything that is, as you know. And um, it's great. It's great to be here. I have nice memories when I'm coming uh, to Monaco, to this, to this gala. Because, you know, football and uh, ourselves, we, we manage by memories. Our lives is memories. So I have, good, I have uh, very, very good memories. I'm not regret what you say. You never know. <laughs> Come back. We never know what's going to happen. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what the future brings. <laughs> right. So let's see what the future, uh, the future <laughs> brings. And uh, that's from Cristiano Ronaldo. Now Liverpool forward Mohamed Salah says he's only focused on enjoying the last year of his contract before making a decision on his future. The 32 year old is here to sign a new deal at uh, the Reds with his contract set to expire this summer. Salah insists he's relaxed about his contract situation at Liverpool. I, I don't think much to be fair. More, I think it was a time you get more wisdom, I would say. So it's, I think uh, I just came before the season. I was like, OK, I have one year left, so just let's enjoy it. Don't think about the contract now. Don't think about anything. And I really just enjoy. I don't. I don't want to think about next year. I don't want to think about the future. I just okay. Let's let's enjoy the last year and we see. You're just thinking about how you can be at your best. Yeah. At all every track every week. That's the most. That's the most important thing. Just take one day at a time and just be grateful to be here. And that's it. That's it for Salah. He would enjoy the moment right at Liverpool. Now, England defender Kieran Trippier has announced his retirement from international football. The 33-year-old was capped 54 times with his only goal coming against Croatia in the 2018 World Cup semi-final defeat in Moscow. In a statement posted on his social media, uh, Trippier says, I never thought as a young 
lad from Berry that I would play for my country, let alone achieve 54 caps. It's been one of the biggest honors of my life to represent my country at four major tournaments. I want to say a big thank you to Gareth and all the staff that have worked with the England squad for the trust they have placed in me throughout the year. So, congratulations to Kieran Trippier, the Newcastle um, United right back. Who has also played for Atletico Madrid and then Todiam Hospes, he has officially retired from international football. So, no more Trippier for the three Lions of England. Now, to the English Premier League. Yes, 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 yes. It is weekend, and this time means that the Premier League is back. So, tomorrow we'll see Arsenal take on Brighton and Hove Albion, and well, Manager of Brighton, Hove Albion, Fabian Hasler, has been speaking ahead of the game. Yeah, one of one of the best team in the world at the moment. I think uh, they don't have a lot of weaknesses. Um, they have in, in all their positions, they have in which quality, they have solutions uh, for all phases of the game. They're good in set pieces, they are good out of possession, good in possession. So we need a, we need a good day. We need a... Um, a very good individual performance, but also a great togetherness on the pitch. And now it's up to us, like that, we try to confirm what we did the first two games. That is not like a surprise. It should be a, a confirmation for us to to go there and uh, make a good game, and um, we go there to win. Because um, I think my my squad has the potential, but of course we have a a lot of lot of respect uh, for Arsenal because for me at the moment. One of the best teams in the world. Let's see how it goes for Brighton when uh, they visit Arsenal at the Emirates. So, 11.30 tomorrow, 11.30 a.m. Arsenal will take on Brighton. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. Leicester City play Aston Villa. Everton, Everton, they are here to win a game. And they take on uh, Antoine Semenyu's Brentmouth. Forest, Nottingham Forest are going to take on Wolverhampton Wanderers, Ipswich Town, they'll be at home once again and welcome Fulham. Brentford will take on uh, Southampton and then West Ham United are playing Manchester City. Kudus, uh, last time around, don't forget, he scored against Manchester City. Let's see if he can get a goal against uh, the citizens yet again. Uh, and then we'll see on Sunday, Chelsea take on Crystal Palace at 12.30 p.m. Newcastle United would play Torium Hospice at 12.30 p.m. And the big game, the biggest game of the weekend is uh, Manchester United taking on Liverpool. Yes, United would be at Old Trafford and they would take on Liverpool. We'll see how uh, things go in there. And uh, La Liga, yesterday, surprisingly, Madrid. Hmm, I don't know what's happening to Madrid, though. Madrid actually played out another draw. Yes. So, Madrid played out a 1-1 draw yesterday against Las Palmas. And uh, it was surprising. The boys are all back. The team is there. But we'll get to talk about that on the game today. So, join us on the game at 1 p.m. So, yesterday, Madrid actually played out a 1-1 draw. And on Saturday, we'll see Barcelona take on Real Valladolid. Athletic Club play uh, Athletic Madrid. And then we'll see Espanyol take on Rayo Vallecano. Leganes will play Mallorca. And then Villarreal will take on Valencia in there. And uh, for Sunday, we'll see Alaves take on Las Palmas. So Sasuna will play Celta de Vigo. Sevilla will take on Girona. Getafe play Real Sociedad. And then uh, the last game before the international break in La Liga would be Real Madrid taking on Real Betis in there. All right. So that will be all for sports this morning. Um, my name is Jones Aji. I was here with Nana Majman. Do make sure you join us on the game at 1 p.m. and uh, on Star FM and then on GH1 TV as well. I'm here with Master J. Yes, yes, yes. So the good music you always listen to um, is by the kind courtesy of Master J. And a big, big shout out to Master J. A big shout out to Mr. Mo, Uncle Mo. Yes, he always likes Jama. So I'm ending with the Jama. <laughs> 